So one day we're jamming in the studio, I mean in our rehearsal studio, in the Doors workshop before uh, we got, uh, before we started recording. And uh, for some reason or another, Robbie was playing his twang guitar. And we were doing, oh, cowpoke went riding out on dark and windy day. And uh, Jim said, I got lyrics for that. I got lyrics for that. And he had, uh, Riders on the storm, riders on the storm. So I said, let me see what I can do with this. And here's what I came up with. We got to put some jazz to it, make it dark. And sure enough, this is what happened. Before we get to that, oh, oh, oh Jerry Sheff says when he, when he comes in, we've got the whole thing together, and Jerry Sheff says, "What's the bass line?" I said, "Like simple, E minor, A major." He said, "Oh man, that's impossible." I said, "What for you? That's not impossible. Let's, look at this. It's like nothing to it." And he said, "Uh uh, that's that's on the piano, right? That's on the keyboard. Sure, that works great on the keyboard." There's nothing to it. Watch this on the bass guitar, and I don't know what the hell he did. He had to go through machinations, like turning his wrist up virtually upside down, inside out, trying to play it. And I said, oh, I'm sorry, man, but it sounds so good. Thunder. After we finished the song, he said, Oh man, I've got super rain and thunder. It's riders on the storm. It's raining on the desert, right? Yeah, exactly, Bruce. Raining on the desert. He said, we got to put in some, uh, uh, some rain and thunder. So sure enough, I mean, the whole thing starts with... And then that bass line. Another one. Ender Morrison. Riders on the storm. Riders on the storm. Into this house we're born. Into this world we're thrown. So it's basically a blues song. It's a one, four, five, except we change the five. And this insane part that Morrison sings, there's a killer on the road. Brain is squirming like a toad. Take a long holiday. Let your children play. If you give this man a ride, sweet family will die. Killer on the road. Yeah, Robbie. Great vibrato guitar. Is like being a plumber. You have to 
negotiate all this equipment. And uh, when I first went in the studio, I didn't know that it, uh, getting a sound on the drums for a record is different than playing live. You, uh, you have to muffle things, dampen them. And uh, I learned that quickly from Botnik and uh, Rothschild. At the time, uh, we didn't have mufflers. This, this drum has a muffler inside, but my trick, which I learned from the old jazz guys, was to put my wallet on the snare drum and tape it down. Although many times I'd go home without my wallet, which was distressing. But that muffled the snare drum sound. And it makes it fatter when it's muffled. See, that's a good sound. And uh, I always took off all my artillery, which I would leave in various cities with my wallet, you know, um, because you can't drum with all this stuff on. And I, uh, I liked my heads to be old and beaten up. I couldn't stand it when I broke one because then I'd have to have a new one and it'd be terrible for, for a few weeks. So it's, it's just a, a preference. Tony Williams, a great jazz drummer, had real tight heads and, and I took the bottom off. The bottoms are off all these. And I, I want them to bark back at me, you know. I think, hello, I love you. I, I go, you don't get bow. They're, they're commenting, they're talking to me, and that's my sound. Oh, another thing that I, I was a jazz fanatic. Uh, I saw Coltrane and Elvin Jones, his drummer, as a kid many times, and everybody else, Miles Davis and all, and actually uh, became friends with Elvin, and by the end of his life, I helped him carry his drums to the car sometimes when he was in town. But what I got from these guys they used to call them rivets. They'd put little, uh, little drill little holes in the ride cymbal and put little metal things in there, and they'd give a sizzle sound. Well, this is, uh, this is the latest invention. So you get a delay, and that's my sound. You can hear this on Riders on the Storm, you know. This is, so the, the jazz influence, really. And then Jim sings, Girl, you gotta love your man. Girl, you gotta love your man. Take him by the hand. Make him understand. His world on you depends. Our life will never end. Gotta love your man. He had the idea to make a movie about a hitchhiking killer. And that's, if you give this man a ride, sweet family will die, killer on the road. But he couldn't, he couldn't leave it at that. He couldn't, the song was just too haunted and too beautiful. And almost, almost as if he had a premonition. And certainly he knew he, at this point, singing this vocal, he knew that he was going to Paris. You know, he knew he was going to Paris. He hadn't told anybody before we did this vocal, but he knew he was going to Paris. And he was singing his love to Pam and trying to wipe out in his mind and on the planet that killer on the road. So he says, girl, you gotta love your man. Girl, you gotta love your man. Take him by the hand. Make him understand. His world on you depends. Our life will never end. What a great line that is. I mean, isn't that the ultimate love? His world on you depends. Our life will never end. Gotta love your man. Girl, you gotta love your man. Keyboard solo.
Thunder, bring in the thunder. Then Densmore kicks it in again. And we're back on the highway. Riders on the stone. Jim's back in. Riders on the stone. Into this house we're born Into this world we're thrown Like a dog without a bone An actor out on loan Riders on the storm Robbie plays some great guitar that haunted voice. Riders on the stone. Riders on the stone. Riders on the stone. Riders on the stone. And that's actually the last time uh, Jim Morrison was in a recording studio, the last time he ever sang, to my knowledge, uh, on planet Earth. Certainly the last time he ever sang with the Doors. But the last recording session, the last time Jim Morrison ever sang with the Doors was that haunted little whisper voice of uh, Riders on the Storm on the L.A. Woman album. This guy says to me, we just buried Jim Morrison. This is like on a Friday or Saturday. It was Friday, I think. Maybe it was Saturday. I forget. Friday or Saturday. Monday. It was either Monday or Tuesday morning. We just buried Jim Morrison. I said, what? I said, what are you talking about? I said, yeah. I said, wait a minute. This is like a rumor. This is not a rumor. This is not a silly little paranoid fantasy. You mean he's dead? Yeah, he's dead. We put the coffin in the ground. Cemetery is called Père Lachaise Cemetery. It's right in Paris. Beautiful old cemetery. Edith Piaf is there, and uh, Isadora Duncan is there, and uh, Eloise and Abelard, and uh, you know Celine may be buried there for all I know. And Chopin is there, and Moliere is there. So there's a lot of artists there. Beautiful old. I said, I don't care who's there, man. I don't. Wait a minute. What happened? Uh, guys, I don't know. I don't know what happened. I mean, was he hit by a truck or something? Uh, no, no, no. His heart stopped. His heart stopped. What are you talking about? I said, how does he look? How does he look? And this guy said, I don't know. I never saw the body. I said, hold it. What do you mean you didn't see the body? It was a sealed coffin. They buried a sealed coffin. And I said, you mean, you don't, you've... You didn't say, open, the, let me see Jim Morrison. I want to see Jim Morrison dead. You're telling me Jim Morrison is dead. Show me Jim Morrison dead. As a manager of the band, you say, that's our lead singer. That's Jim Morrison. Let me see Jim Morrison dead. Jim Morrison was never seen dead. That coffin was put in the ground, covered over, and that was it. I said, that's it? He said, that's all I know, man. I'm telling you what I know. I was here. I, he's dead. He's dead. Pam was all broken up. I'm telling you, it was, Pam was just crying and weeping and everything. And, you know, I mean, I, 
I just couldn't bring myself to open the coffin. I said, oh, God. And uh, we're waiting for Jim to come back. You know, we're working on some songs. John and Robbie and I are getting together, you know, every Tuesday and Thursday, a couple of hours in the afternoon, putting some little ditties together, working on some tunes, a little of this, a little of that, keeping the chops up, writing some songs. I'd started writing some stuff. John was working on some songs himself, and we're taking this opportunity to do some woodshedding, as they call it, and work on some tunes and waiting for Jim to come back. And all of a sudden, assuming, of course, that Jim's coming back, all of a sudden Jim Morrison is not only is he not coming back, Jim Morrison is dead. I also want to mention that I use 7A drumsticks. This is not a commercial. That's just the size of the stick which are very thin, like jazz, and you can play fast, but they break. I mean, in concert, they, I'm whacking away, and they and then I just grab another, but I want the speed.
Riders on the storm Riders on the storm Into this house we're born Into this world we're thrown Like a dog without 